My name is Marco Steinberg. I'm a strategic design director at the Finnish Innovation Fund. And today I talked really about innovating within the public sector and doing large-scale innovation. What I mean by large-scale innovation is fundamentally not just innovating a syringe or a car or a band-aid, but really thinking about the bigger challenge. How do you innovate healthcare? How do you innovate in the environment? I think when you look at doing innovation, that's about the whole, not just the parts, there are several key issues. One of it is I think we need to acknowledge that we don't have the institutions or the science to do this stuff. We're really set up to do product innovation, but not innovating the whole. So that, that's point number one. The other thing is we don't really have the kind of leadership and the toolkit uh, to do that kind of work. So I talked a lot about how you set up processes that allow you to actually see a bigger whole. Um, this means taking an integrated approach to problem solving, and how then do you connect that to delivery. Doing this work in practice means several things. One is, if you look at the how we're set up as a society, the institutions we have, they really work against the large-scale challenges we have. So one thing is, is actually how do you connect across? So if we take the theme of sustainable development, which is at the core of any country's development and, and uh, competitiveness, we actually don't have a ministry that deals with it. We have a ministry that deals with energy, we have another ministry that deals with housing, we have another ministry that deals with communications and transportation, and so on and so on. So this kind of innovation happens in spite of our institutions, not because of them. It's not about improving solutions we already know, it's actually creating and shaping new kinds of solutions, new decision making. I've never looked at entrepreneurship as being something that is only of the uh, business domain. So for example, when I was in academia teaching, I felt I was an academic entrepreneur. So entrepreneurship for me means really the kind of stamina and the ability to pursue something new and to bring it to life. So I think a lot of the entrepreneurship here has to do with the kind of cleverness, the intelligence, uh, the adaptability in terms of, okay, this is what the big picture looks like, but when you get into the dirty practical world of today, you may actually have to adapt your game plan. So there's a lot of entrepreneurship there. The other aspect is actually bringing a kind of entrepreneur spirit to the public sector. We have huge innovation challenges in the public sector. Everybody looks at the public sector as some sort of problem, but it's also a huge opportunity. It could be a huge driver for growth if we thought of it as an engine for innovation. But that will only happen if we see the public sector's role not preventing risk from materializing, but also enabling opportunities to materialize. And hence, I think there is a huge need for entrepreneurial spirit in the public sector.